Senator, you are an African American candidate for president running in a state with a very, very tiny um, African American population. Can you get a fair hearing here? Oh, absolutely. Are you getting a fair I, hearing? I, I am getting a fair hearing, and I am, uh, and I will get a fair hearing, and I think we're going to win this place uh, because you, you you have people who are less concerned about race and much more concerned about you know is this somebody who is really going to be fighting for me? Is this mm -hmm. somebody who is going to make sure that my life is a little bit better. I just had a roundtable discussion with a group of women. And you listen to their stories. You know, you got a single mother who is trying to go to school at the same time uh, as she's working, just like my mother did, and can't even think about saving. She's not getting any help when it comes to daycare because she works a little too many hours mm -hmm. to, get, uh, to get a subsidy. Uh, stories like that exist all across Iowa. And if people feel that I can deliver for them, mm -hmm. then I think we're going to do well. And if they feel that uh, you know, I can make their lives a little bit better, the last thing they're going to be thinking about is, uh, is my race. You well, think the state's moved beyond that? What's that? You think the state has moved beyond that? I, I do. I, I, look, there's no doubt that race is always a factor in, in American society. There's no denying that. Uh, but I think we've made enormous progress. Uh, in a generation, certainly since I was born uh, in the early 60s. And I think that people right now are much more concerned with who's going to look out for them, who's going to fight for them, who's going to bring about the kind of change that's needed in Washington. So if you don't do well in the caucuses, we're not going to hear David Axelrod and Robert Gibbs and all your spinners telling us, well, Barack Obama didn't do well in Iowa because it's a lily white state. I just no. want to lay that down. Guar guaranteed. It, look, we have invested in Iowa. I have been campaigning actively in Iowa. We expect to do well in Iowa. And what do you say, Senator, to those Democrats who very quietly, because it's not easy to talk about race in politics, right. will say, you know, we're not sure Barack Obama can win because a lot of voters aren't ready to vote for a black man in America. You know, I heard this when I was running for the U.S. Senate. Uh, as, uh, Illinois is 12 percent African American. Uh, it's not uh, a majority African American state or even a substantial plurality African American state. And people said, you know, there's no way that folks downstate uh, are going to vote for you. And downstate Illinois is pretty similar to Iowa, culturally and demographically. We ended up uh, winning that primary by 20 points. Uh, we won the white vote, we won the rural vote, we won the farmer vote. There wasn't a vote we didn't win against strong candidates, one who spent $30 million, another who was the sitting state comptroller uh, and was a very popular elected official, and we beat him. So, you know, I've heard this before. Uh, I think it gives uh, the voters too little credit, uh, and we're confident that we're going to be able to do well.